My name is Guy Rogers, president of Flourishing Leadership, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to this inaugural episode of the Flourishing Leadership Podcast. Here's our mission, to help you realize the full potential of your leadership calling. You can find out more about us at flourishing-leadership.com. Now, as I see it, flourishing is the closest term we have to the Hebrew word shalom. Shalom means uh, so, so much more than peace. It's a total state of well-being, a state that God intends and desires for each of us to know and experience. Flourishing is thriving. It's magnetic. It's courageous and compassionate. It's a cup overflowing to others. This is the kind of leadership we need today in the body of Christ and in our broader culture. Flourishing leadership at its best is highly influential. It influences in a positive way the worldview, beliefs, values, emotions, thoughts, decisions, and actions of others. Genuine servant leadership is the pinnacle of flourishing leadership. Let's look at what Jesus said about leadership. He who would be the greatest, let him be the least. He who would be master, let him serve. These exhortations are both paradoxical and counterintuitive to human nature and what our typical experiences of leadership have been and are. I consider it a near certainty that every one of us has been touched by the wrong kind of leadership at some time or another so-called leadership that bullies or intimidates, so-called leadership that communicates, do as I say, not as I do, so-called leadership that lords over, demeans, dismisses, denigrates, and ignores, so-called leadership that is self-absorbed, insecure, and puts itself first. As you hear these descriptions of so-called leadership, you undoubtedly can think of examples in politics, education, business, the workplace, in short, really all around you, where this failure of leadership is demonstrated. Then there's the genuine leadership Jesus referred to. It serves others. It leads by example. It desires that others reach their full potential. It's validating and affirming. It influences, encourages, and persuades. It's courageous and decisive. But because it is self-examining and self-aware, it's amenable to different opinions, ideas, and approaches. It is visionary and inspirational, redemptive and restorative, self-sacrificing and secure. It understands how people are wired differently and how to help diverse people function as a team. And this is why flourishing leadership is such a joy and such a blessing to be around. What do you want your life to look like? How would you like to change and grow? Is your aspiration to be a flourishing leader no matter where God has placed you? Then this podcast is for you. We'll be airing a new episode every other week. We'll feature flourishing leaders in all walks of life whose examples, perspectives, and insights will encourage you, will challenge you, will inspire you. Upcoming guests include leaders such as Mike Huckabee, former governor of Arkansas and former candidate for president who hosts his own show on the Trinity Broadcasting Network, and Oz Hillman, who is president of Marketplace Leaders. As a certified professional leadership coach, I have the privilege of working with leaders of all ages and backgrounds, C-level executives, nonprofit leaders, small business owners, self-employed professionals. I'm passionately driven to help each of these men and women be better servant leaders every day. In this podcast, my goal is to help you do the same. That's my calling, and that's my passion. If my message today speaks to you, please subscribe to this podcast on your favorite podcast app, such as on iTunes or the Play Store or Spotify and Stitcher, and let your friends and colleagues know about it. And please check us out at flourishing-leadership.com where you can learn more about my leadership coaching approach and methodology and how it can help you. Because today, your leadership, flourishing leadership, has never been more needed.